So today I thought it'd be fun to talk about why I think that GUI file managers on Linux are just exceptionally boring. So if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding the little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. I'm aiming for a thousand subs and any help be really appreciated. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So right now I am running Dolphin. So this is what it's look, it looks like if you've never used it before. I believe it's the KDE file manager. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. But I've tried out things like PC Man, where is it? PC Man FM. And I've also tried out Thuna. And one thing that I have noticed is all of these file managers seem to be basically the same program. So what I mean by this, so obviously, like if we bring up Dolphin now, so Dolphin and Thuna look very, very different. Even if you put Dolphin into the similar stacking, not stacking, what am I saying, listing mode, it still looks very, very different. But the core functionality of what they do, at least from a user's perspective, are all pretty much the same. Sure, you can make the argument that, yeah, behind the scenes, like, yeah, they're probably all implemented very, very differently. I'm not trying to discredit the work that each of the teams that have worked on Dolphin and Thuna and PC Man FM have actually put into these projects, but at least from my perspective, they're all pretty much the same. I've considered doing videos on something like Dolphin or Thuna, but if I did one of those videos, then the next one after that would basically be the exact same video with just string replacement for whatever file manager I'm talking about this time. I don't actually think that this is a bad thing per se. So I think we're kind of at the point with GUI file managers, not terminal file managers, I'll talk about those a bit later in the video, but with GUI file managers, I think we're pretty much at the point where the only real differences you're gonna see between them are kind of just aesthetic things. Say so like, I I like this layout for Dolphin, but I also like this layout that Thuna has. And really, maybe there's not like a functional difference between the two. And it's more about, I guess, how you want to browse your file manager. Cause as for features, I think the only thing that Thuna does differently to most of the other file managers is one of its optional dependencies will let you auto mount USB devices. And that's the reason I just keep Thunar installed even if I'm not using it, because I don't know if other file managers have that feature, at least I haven't seen it. If they do, then that's even one less thing that they do differently. But when it comes to terminal file managers, for example, so I'll bring my main one up right now. So right now I'm running LF, which it looks very, very similar to Ranger, but when it comes to terminal file managers, there actually is a very, very clear distinction between them. And that's because with these terminal based applications, most of the time, the features that you add into them come through scripting. Whereas with a GUI file manager, most of the functionality is already there, unless there's probably some really, really stripped down GUI file manager, but because it is so much harder to script features into a GUI program than it is for a terminal program, for example, yes, you can do it, but you don't have as seamless as an integration as you do with a terminal application because with GUI stuff, you typically have things like icons and other things that go along with it to make it a bit easier to actually, I guess, see what's going on. I know that Thuna doesn't really have many icons and yeah, you probably could integrate more scripting into this and yet all of the big file managers do have a way to script. I don't know if Thuna does. I know that Dolphin does, I'll bring that one up. I think it's under, I don't remember where it's under. It probably does and I'm just missing it. I know that PC Man FM does have a way to script it. I've, I got completely sidetracked there. So terminal file managers, most of their features come through scripting. So if you take Ranger, for example, that is a fairly complete terminal file manager. It has most of the basic features you want, like moving, copying, deleting, uh, cutting, pasting, and renaming. But if you want to do things like hop around between different directories, that's done through the little bit of scripting you do. If you want to do like big changes to it, you have to start modifying it with Python. And that is where the big differences between most of the file managers come. Because whilst Ranger and LF look very, very similar because 
if I was to remove these borders, they would look almost identical because LF was inspired by Ranger. But the thing with LF is it's a very, very minimalist terminal file manager. So it's actually missing a lot of those basic features. If I bring up my config for it, so it's missing things like making a directory and other basic stuff like that that Ranger has. I'm pretty sure if it doesn't, then correct me if I'm wrong. And the way that it opens files is actually much better than the way that Ranger does it as well, which it does through its, I guess, internal sort of proprietary way to do it using Python. Whereas with LF, it uses a open standard, uses XDG open to do basically all of its file opening. I've got some modifications in here to make sure stuff's opening the way that I want it to because sometimes XDG open doesn't work perfectly. And then there's other things like if we bring up, for example, another one like NNN, which is a super minimalist one. It doesn't even have different columns like Ranger and LF do. So we can bring that up. It, you can cycle through. I might do a video on NNN at some point. And then you've got an even more minimalist one which was made entirely for a meme and that is FFF and you don't get anything with this pretty much all you can do it's effectively a glorified LS with CD that's pretty much all it is there's nothing too special about it you can navigate through it with Vim keys but my point with this is and actually there's another one as well that I've got installed we'll just go through that before I go over that point C files, similar to Ranger and LF, but this one's written in C and it's designed to be really fast. And this is one of the cool things you get with terminal file managers that you just don't get with GUI file managers. Whilst all of the basic features are there, all the basic file manager features are there, they all implement them in obviously visually different ways. Whereas with the GUI file managers, yeah, you might have some interesting stuff done behind the scenes that are different, but from the user's perspective, they are all basically the same application with different themes over the top. Dolphin and Thrunar look very, very different, but under the hood, they do the exact same stuff. Whereas if you take LF, LF doesn't do image previews, for example, whereas Ranger does, and then other things like some of them don't support W3M previews and the others only support UberZerg previews or Uber whatever that one's called. From Because of the way that you interact with these programs, they are obviously very, very different. And that's why I actually find talking about terminal file managers far more interesting than GUI ones. Because even though LF and Ranger look very similar, the way that you actually modify these programs is so different that I can do 10, 15, 20 minutes on both of them and not repeat any of the same points because they're just so different. Whereas from my perspective as someone who wants to make interesting content, and even from a user's perspective, there's not really any point to switch between GUI file managers because they're all basically the same thing. I know that someone's probably gonna disagree. They're gonna be like, oh, you've got this really obscure feature in Dolphin, or you've got this really obscure feature in PC Man FM. But really, how many times are you gonna use that feature? And is that a feature that you can't just get from, for example, some of them don't have bulk renaming, but you can do that with Vim. Like, there's not really any extra benefit you get from that. Sure, it's integrated into your file manager, but it's not like you can't do that through other means. So basically what I'm trying to get at with this video is that I don't really have any interest in making videos about GUI file managers. If someone recommends one to me and they're like, this actually is kind of a cool application and it does something, different from all the rest that is actually useful. Because sure, you can make a GUI file manager that does something different, but is there a use case for it is the most important thing. Because it's all well and good to do something different from everyone else, but are you actually ever going to use that feature or is it just being different for the sake of being different? So that's pretty much why I'm never gonna do a video on Dolphin. I'm never gonna do a video on Thunar. Actually, no, Thunar's an exception because of its USB auto mounting, but that's not because it's a good GUI file manager. That's because auto USB mounting is actually really useful. And I'm not going to do a video on PC Man FM. So if you notice that between random videos, I switch between them and I don't really talk about them, then yeah, that's pretty much why. 
as I said with Thuna, I might do a video on the auto mounting and I might do videos on maybe some of the random little features, but as for recommending a GUI file manager or doing a video on a GUI file manager as like an entire thing, I don't really have any interest in doing that, at least until I find something that really interests me. So if you like this video, remember to smash that like button, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. If you've got any ideas for any GUI file managers that are actually interesting, let me know down below because I'll happily look at them because it's always fun to look at new programs. And if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe and ding a little bell icon down below because it'll really help the channel out. As I mentioned before, I'm aiming for a thousand subs, so any help would be really appreciated. Up on that corner, I've got the playlist this video's in, so go check that out if you want to see other videos like this. And I think that's pretty much everything. Down below, I've got my Discord and my library links, so go check those out. And also all my support links, so go check those out as well if you want to support the channel. Go check out my Twitter and my Mastodon for video updates. So I think that's pretty much everything for this video, and I'm out.